Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and today on Science Max Experiments at Large, we are using mouse traps, but I cannot find my mouse traps, so it's going to be a little hard to do the experiment unless I have. Oh, hey, here they are. Oh yeah, I stored them preset. Why? Why would I do that? Okay, well that's that's fine. Anyway, today we, careful, are going to be using mouse trap. Uh, um, like I said, we are going to be using uh, <laughs> mouse traps. Mouse traps as a form of <gasps> ah, propulsion. That's the force that makes things go. And we are going to be making a boat go. And what is the thing that's going to make this boat go? A mouse. Uh. Oh. oh, it's not set. Sorry, I'm really jumpy. Anyway, we're going to be using a mouse trap. And don't worry, no mice are going to be harmed in the making of this or any Science Max episode. But mouse traps are really great because they can store energy in the spring. If you see, there's a spring that makes this bar want to snap back, but we can put energy into the spring and store it and then use that energy as it unwinds the spring to propel our boat. But it's a little more complicated than just this, so come on, I'll show you. What we're gonna do is build this. This is the mousetrap boat, and it works like this. I've got the mousetrap, and it's attached to a long arm. That arm has a string on it, and it goes around the paddle wheel, and as the mousetrap unwinds, the paddle wheel spins like that, which pushes the boat forward. Now, it looks kind of complicated, but it's actually quite simple to make, and here's what you need. My mousetrap boat is made with styrofoam, craft sticks, and elastics. You'll also want a pencil, plastic drink caps, a shish kebab skewer, small zip ties, string, and of course, your mousetrap. Now, mousetraps can hurt your fingers, so get an adult to help you when you use it. Start with two pieces of styrofoam. I like to cut mine into this shape, but the only really important thing is that they're the same size. Your paddle wheel is made from a circle of styrofoam with a pencil through the middle, and it will go across like this. To make the paddle wheel, I use cut pieces of craft stick, or they can be plastic, and make some cuts and then put them in like this, and that is what will make your paddles on the paddle wheel, because that's the wheel and that's the paddle, paddle wheel. <laughs> that's why they call it that. Stick drink caps to the ends of the pencil after sticking it through the styrofoam. I like to use a few craft sticks and elastics to help give the styrofoam strength. Next is the mouse trap, which you want to glue down to a frame of four craft sticks. Attach the frame to the boat with elastics, then attach the shish kebab skewer or a pencil to the mouse trap with zip ties. I like to put some craft sticks on the end to make it easier to tie the string to it. Wrap the other end around the paddle wheel pencil, and remember you need enough string so that your stick can lie flat. Okay, let's try it out. Wind up the paddle wheel. This will be a little hard as the spring will pull back, but that's where you're storing the energy. And when it's wound up, put it in the water and let it go. The paddle wheel turns because the mouse trap is transferring energy that we put in earlier, and it goes all the way. We stored the energy in the tension of the spring. Now that tension is pulling the mouse trap, the stick, and the string, which turns the paddle wheel and makes the boat go. Mouse trap powered boat! If you want more detailed instructions or other designs, look up mouse trap boat. <laughs>